In a startling move that reverberated across diplomatic corridors and military command centers worldwide, Iran announced the development and successful testing of three advanced ballistic weapons. The revelation, coming amidst already heightened tensions in the region, has sparked immediate concern and condemnation from global powers. As the geopolitical landscape braces for potential escalation, the implications of Iran's latest military advancements are far-reaching and deeply unsettling. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. The first of the newly unveiled weapons is the Zulfikar-E, a long-range ballistic missile touted by Iranian officials as a game-changer in the region's military dynamics. With an estimated range exceeding 2,000 kilometers, the Zulfikari poses a significant threat not only to neighboring states, but potentially to targets across the broader Middle East and beyond. Its precise guidance systems and payload capacity raise alarms about Iran's capacity to project power and influence over vast distances, challenging established security doctrines. Accompanying the Zulfikar E are two other formidable additions to Iran's arsenal, the Fateh 313 inches and the Chiam 1. The Fateh 313, characterized by its enhanced maneuverability and precision strike capabilities, represents a considerable advancement in Iran's ballistic missile technology. Meanwhile, the Chiam 1, with its shorter range but heightened accuracy, presents a formidable tool for tactical operations and asymmetric warfare scenarios. Together, these three weapons form a potent triad, underscoring Iran's commitment to bolstering its military capabilities despite international scrutiny and sanctions. The timing of Iran's ballistic weapons announcement is particularly striking, occurring against a backdrop of escalating tensions and geopolitical maneuvering. The region has been grappling with a series of crises, from the ongoing conflicts in Syria and Yemen to the simmering rivalry between regional powerhouses Saudi Arabia and Iran. Additionally, Iran's nuclear ambitions have long been a source of contention, with the country's nuclear program remaining a focal point of international concern and diplomatic negotiations. For Iran, the unveiling of these ballistic weapons serves multiple strategic objectives. Firstly, it asserts the country's sovereignty and self-reliance in the face of external pressure and attempts to contain its military capabilities. By showcasing indigenous advancements in missile technology, Iran sends a clear message to its adversaries that it is not only capable of defending its interests, but also willing to assert its influence across the region. Furthermore, the announcement serves as a demonstration of defiance against the backdrop of international sanctions and diplomatic isolation signaling Iran's resolve to pursue its military agenda unabated. However, the repercussions of Iran's ballistic weapons announcement extend far beyond the confines of the region. The global response has been swift and unequivocal, with condemnations pouring in from key players on the international stage. The United States, long at odds with Iran over its nuclear program and support for militant groups, wasted no time in denouncing the move as destabilizing and provocative. Washington's allies in Europe and the Middle East echoed these sentiments, expressing deep concern over the implications of Iran's military buildup for regional security and stability. The announcement has also reignited fears of a renewed arms race in the Middle East, with other regional actors closely monitoring Iran's military developments. Saudi Arabia, Iran's chief rival in the Gulf, has already embarked on its own ambitious military modernization program, fueled by concerns over Tehran's expanding influence and perceived aggression. Similarly, Israel, which views Iran as an existential threat, has vowed to take whatever measures necessary to counter the perceived Iranian threat, raising the specter of further escalation and conflict. In the realm of international diplomacy, Iran's ballistic weapons announcement poses a significant challenge to efforts aimed at de-escalating tensions and fostering dialogue. The prospects for reviving the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA, commonly known as the Iran nuclear deal, now appear more precarious than ever. The agreement, which aimed to curb Iran's nuclear ambitions in exchange for sanctions relief, has been hanging by a thread since the United States unilaterally withdrew in 2018. Iran's latest military maneuvers only serve to complicate ongoing negotiations and exacerbate existing distrust between Tehran and the international community. Moreover, Iran's ballistic weapons announcement has raised questions about the effectiveness of existing arms control regimes and non-proliferation efforts. 
Despite concerted international efforts to curb the spread of ballistic missile technology, Iran's advancements underscore the inherent challenges in enforcing such measures. The proliferation of advanced weaponry in volatile regions like the Middle East not only heightens the risk of conflict, but also undermines global efforts to promote peace and security. As the international community grapples with the implications of Iran's ballistic weapons announcement, there is a pressing need for dialogue and diplomacy to mitigate the risk of further escalation. Diplomatic channels must remain open, even as tensions simmer and rhetoric escalates, to prevent misunderstandings and miscalculations from spiraling into full-blown conflict. Regional stakeholders, including Iran's neighbors and key players in the Gulf, must engage in constructive dialogue to address underlying grievances and security concerns, lest the region descend into chaos and bloodshed. Iran's ballistic weapons announcement serves as a stark reminder of the volatile and unpredictable nature of geopolitics in the 21st century. In an era defined by shifting alliances, asymmetric warfare, and competing strategic interests, the specter of conflict looms large over the Middle East and beyond. As global powers navigate this precarious landscape, the need for restraint, diplomacy, and cooperation has never been more urgent. Only through concerted efforts to de-escalate tensions and address underlying grievances can the international community hope to avert the looming specter of conflict and usher in a future defined by peace and stability. One of the immediate concerns stemming from Iran's announcement is the potential for a destabilizing arms race in the Middle East. The region has long been characterized by rivalries and proxy conflicts, fueled in part by the influx of advanced weaponry. Iran's pursuit of ballistic missile technology threatens to exacerbate existing tensions and provoke a dangerous cycle of militarization among neighboring states. In a region already beset by sectarian divides and geopolitical rivalries, the specter of an arms race only serves to heighten the risk of conflict and instability. Furthermore, Iran's ballistic weapons announcement poses a direct challenge to the existing framework of arms control and non-proliferation agreements. The proliferation of advanced missile technology undermines efforts to curb the spread of weapons of mass destruction and enforce international norms against their use. Iran's defiance of international pressure to halt its missile program underscores the limitations of diplomatic engagement and the need for a more robust approach to arms control in the 21st century. In particular, the unraveling of the Iran nuclear deal, formerly known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA, represents a significant setback for multilateral efforts to prevent nuclear proliferation. The JCPOA, negotiated between Iran and six world powers in 2015, aimed to curb Iran's nuclear program in exchange for sanctions relief. However, the agreement has been on life support since the United States unilaterally withdrew in 2018 and reimposed crippling sanctions on Iran. Iran's recent military maneuvers only served to further erode the fragile consensus surrounding the JCPOA, raising doubts about the feasibility of reviving the agreement in its current form. The international response to Iran's ballistic weapons announcement has been swift and forceful, reflecting widespread condemnation of Iran's actions. The United States, in particular, has taken a hard-line stance against Iran's military buildup, vowing to counter any perceived threats to regional security and stability. Washington has signaled its readiness to employ diplomatic, economic, and potentially military measures to deter Iran from further provocative actions, raising the specter of renewed confrontation between the two adversaries. At the same time, Iran's regional rivals, notably Saudi Arabia and Israel, have voiced their own concerns over Iran's military ambitions. Saudi Arabia, locked in a bitter rivalry with Iran for regional dominance, has accelerated its own military modernization efforts in response to perceived Iranian threats. The Kingdom, supported by its allies in the Gulf Cooperation Council, GCC, has sought to bolster its defenses and expand its strategic capabilities to counter Iran's growing influence in the region. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What do you predict will be the global response to Iran's announcement? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.